Hi, everybody. It is still March 3rd, 2021. I posted this video back in 2017. Here, what the International Firefighter Association said about cell towers, radio frequency, and microwave frequencies. And I received a comment just a couple of days ago. You, uh, mm, that's not the comment, so let me see. I need your help. I need that page where you can find the studies. I am dying from this crap. Work at Boeing, working around robots. I think it burnt my brain blood barrier. I can hear cell tower noise 24-7. I can hear the noise that's killing me. No shit. Okay, I completely not only understand, identify. As I'm doing this video, the loud, loud buzzing that I am listening to inside my own brain. Yes, Montana has not really changed in terms of the frequencies. There is no safe place to go anymore. And I will show you how these frequencies make themselves visible in the sky. Uh, but we also have satellites. And I, in Anderson, South Carolina, did not see as many satellites as I am seeing here. However, this is big sky country. So that could be one of the reasons why I'm noticing I counted five satellites right above my head where I'm living, and they were all activated. Activated meaning that you can see the red and green lights flashing. These are not stars. These are satellites. So let me show you. Um, the satellites. That I filmed. They're hard to capture. I could only capture one. I kept trying to find, trying to capture the other one that I could see, but it was too far away. So this is not a star. This is a satellite in the sky. And they emit very dangerous frequencies. So this satellite is either receiving or sending data. These satellites, not only do they emit dangerous frequencies, they're spying on us. They're spying on us. Um, did I get the other one? I don't think so. No, I just went back to this satellite. All right, so... It, it, they're very hard to focus in on them because they're they're moving about and they go back and forth when they're closer you can see the lights very obviously i think this was the next night looking a little bit different, flashing lights. When we don't have that full cloud coverage, I mean, it's so easy to see these guys up there flickering away. So 
So uh, the transmission is different with this one. You can tell by the lights that it is flickering. So how can you see microwaves in our sky? It's actually very easy. So here, now I know that most of you know this, and we had some very cold days, so I decided to just take this from inside. So that's why you're seeing the, uh, the glass is, the window is not very clean, but all of these ripples, that's caused by microwave frequencies. Did you see the camera going in and out of focus? That's because a frequency just pulsed and it does um, make the camera lose its focus. So this is another day of the microwaves that I see in the sky. I didn't see them. I, I, I would, I'd have to say like the first month that I lived here. Then, well, did you see those pulses? And that pulse. Okay, all of these pulsating frequencies affect all life. All life. But, you know, it was, I'd say maybe a couple of weeks or a month later, I suddenly started seeing these microwaves that were just unbelievable. Um, and I mean, you can tell this is not a normal sky. Something is amiss, <laughs> to say the least. So when people look at these skies, I, what, how could they possibly see a natural sky? I don't get it. But all of these bizarre lattice-like, grid-like, all of the ripples, all of this is caused by electromagnetic frequencies, artificially induced into the atmosphere, along with the black carbon dust and all of the heavy metals and the chemicals and the biologicals that they are spraying. It is not a surprise that most Americans now are no longer healthy no longer healthy. And that's really a shame. You know, I took this video right here. Oh. As I was driving. And it was a very strange it it wasn't really a fog, but We've had very strange fogs here as well. And if I get around to it, I'll post a video on all of the strange things I've been noticing in Montana. But doesn't it look like a fog? Well, it wasn't, but you will see an enorm, there is a pulse, there is another pulse, there's another pulse. Okay, why are traffic accidents increasing because of these friggin pulsating frequencies that disturb our brain all right um, 
Yes, robots. I came across a presentation, Robots and the Electromagnetic Spectrum, and I decided to hit play. So, let's just watch this. It's a presentation I can't speak to, you know, what they were talking about, but this man who left the comment, he's working Boeing robots. He is surrounded by very powerful electromagnetic frequencies. So, here we go. This is the presentation electromagnetic spectrum, the range of wavelengths or frequencies over which electromagnetic radiation extends, or a diagram we use to place the common wave or ray names in order by frequencies and wavelengths. What are wavelengths and frequencies? The wavelength is the distance between the crests, between, you know, the, the distance of, the distance of the frequency. The frequency is how often the wavelengths are completed or cycled. And, you know, we are now so inundated, there really is no place to escape. So people have left comments asking, you know, how, how are you in Montana? Do you feel a difference? You know, um, and I also said, I think yesterday in a video that I was not feeling well, and I knew, I can definitively say, that it was definitely a frequency. I, the suddenness of just this mild vertigo episode, followed by nausea, that has, I'm still not feeling quite right. But the suddenness of the illness, you know, I used to talk about getting the flu, non-flu, or the non-flu flu, uh, it would come on suddenly. It would last for uh, approximately two days. I would literally be flat out, so sick, but then it would disappear. That was not a normal flu. That was a flu caused by my getting hit with frequencies. That was, uh, that happened several times in Great Barrington, several times in South Carolina, and I've now three times experienced it in Montana, though the last time was really bad. This time around, it was not as bad as the last time I think was about a month ago and I was laid out. But the symptoms, it's very strange and I've experienced symptoms differently in Montana. So the last two times that I got that, well, I'm, it didn't, it didn't really feel like a, uh, a flu. Oh, huh. it came on. No, this was a different time. In between uh, two days ago and a month, in between that, I suddenly became nauseous and I literally threw up five minutes later. I can't remember the last time I threw up. I mean, it must have been decades ago. But the immediacy of it leads me to believe that it was electromagnetic frequencies, artificially induced. But this time, it, it does something very strange to my muscles. Especially, I can feel them especially in my legs. I, I, they don't hurt, but 
they feel almost like they're vibrating and they're very weak. All right, so these symptoms range. And it, depending on the constitution of the individual, uh, they may experience completely different symptoms. Um, I'm just speaking my symptoms. You know, I still have a pressure in my head. Um, well, I have a range of symptoms, but um, this is me living in a log cabin. Hardwired is the internet. So when people heard that I was not feeling well and I, I was very sure that it was electromagnetic frequencies that I was hit with, and they said, uh, turn off your Wi-Fi. I don't have Wi-Fi. I have never had Wi-Fi in my own apartments or homes. I've stayed with people who have had Wi-Fi and I experience symptoms. So I don't, uh, everything is hardwired for me. But somebody left a comment saying they can emit these frequencies through your computer, through the monitor. Well, I know that, and I'll show you. Um, yes, they can do it. All right, so I'm on a mountain in Montana small town. Oh yeah, there are quite a number of satellites up there. If I went to Google Earth and scanned around this area, I have no doubt that I would find Gwen Towers up here in the mountains. But I don't have a cell phone tower next to me, and yet I'm still experiencing this? Okay. This man who left this comment, the Geo Man 46, I'm very sorry that you are experiencing this, but it doesn't surprise me because people who work, work in these fields, whether it is working, you know, with robots, uh, cell tower technicians, who climb those cell towers, um, ambulance drivers, firefighters, police, those who work in hospitals experience it far more intensely. So this video, firefighters don't want cell towers near their stations. Um, well, links below. And this was on the International Association of Firefighters website, the facts, cell towers, and what the cell towers were doing to the firefighters. Guess what? Oops, that page can't be found. That's why it's so important to download everything. Well, my hunch is that in this video, I go through it. Yes, I do. International Association of Firefighters. Uh, position on the health effects from radio frequency microwave radiation in fire department facilities from base stations for antennas and towers for the conduction of cell phone transmissions. And in Anderson, South Carolina, there was a four... Um, There was one particular area, it was a stoplight, across on the left-hand side was a EMT station with a huge antenna. On the other side was the hospital with all of these antennas up on the roof of the hospital. And four times, twice, I had episodes of vertigo and had to pull over because I could not drive. And twice, right there in that intersection, 
I experienced the sudden onset of extreme pain in my abdomen, 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 twice. It came on suddenly, and it lasted for maybe two minutes, and then it was gone, suddenly. When you get these symptoms that are so sudden, and they leave just as suddenly, you know you've been hit with a microwave, extremely low frequency, an electromagnetic frequency induced, artificially induced by man. So what you can no longer find on the International Association of Firefighters website, I have here in my video. You know, I'm going to go through some information, but this these frequencies do cross the blood-brain barrier, and they affect us in so many different ways. I thought maybe I could get to that page that is now, oops, that page can't be found through the article that I also included in the video, but I can't. I'm showing you this to tell you that on Activist Post, they have a lot of articles about these electromagnetic frequencies, the biological effects, the dangers of these frequencies, and uh, yes, B.N. Frank and other authors of articles, they have the links. Okay, so scientists for Wired Tech, well, I'll get to that in a second, but I will leave the links to everything that I'm showing you below my video, and most of the links are sites where you can find the studies on the biological effects of these frequencies. But, you know, I don't understand why everybody was supporting Trump and still support him when this guy has shown he's revealed who he is. You know, he's a biotech. Uh, he, he pulled us out of World Health Organization. Oh, really? He stopped the funding for that? But he funded Gavi, which is a Bill and Melinda Gates um, organization. To It's the Global Alliance of Vaccine Initiative, where they go around the world vaccinating people. And Trump, hey... He, he has a video. I have a video on my channel of Trump, you know, uh, giving Gavi all these accolades. And, well, uh, these bills, and this was back in 2017, so the bills contradict everything. Now, President Trump promised the American people the FCC is part of the swamp that needs to be drained, and so far these bills haven't even been acknowledged by anyone in the Trump administration. What are the bills? Allowing the telecommunications industry to put up their cell towers and their 5G cells anywhere they want, denying Denying states, counties, um, local towns, taking away their power to object to these cell towers, these cells, being placed anywhere. Now, and Trump, what? Oh, my God, this 5G rollout. Oh, it's a national security issue, and we're going to fund the rural rollout of 5G. So this is posted on the International Association of Firefighters website. The International Association of Firefighters position on locating cell towers 
commercial wireless infrastructure on fire department facilities as adopted by its membership in August 2004 is that the International Association of Firefighters oppose the use of fire stations as base stations for towers and or antennas for the conduction of cell phone transmissions until a study with the highest scientific merit and integrity on health effects of exposure to low intensity radio frequency microwave radiation is conducted and it is proven that such sightings are not hazardous to the health of our members. So somebody got to this association. Take it down. Take it down. All right. Um, let me just go back to this. So robots. How does the electromagnetic spectrum relate to robotics? Robotics use the waves and rays in the electromagnetic spectrum to complete their daily task. These waves are not visible However, we use them all the time. You know, it's a uh, type of rays and waves for these robotic. Uh, this man working at Boeing with robots, radio waves, microwaves, infrared, ultraviolet, visible light, x-rays, and gamma rays. You want to talk uh, what we're experiencing? Then intensify it 10 times for these people who are working in these fields. Some are perfectly fine. The individuals, their constitution, but these electromagnetic frequencies artificially induced into their body, eventually they're not fine. And well, the problem is they're invisible. You can't see them. So people think, well, my employer certainly wouldn't be putting me in a dangerous environment. Oh, they don't care. They just want you to produce. They affect all life. So even for those who are feeling okay, they're getting affected. Then you have people who are more sensitive. They're recognizing something's going not right with me. This is what I'm feeling. I can't think. I'm confused. I feel nauseous. I'm, my head aches all the time. My eyesight is deteriorating. Yeah, these frequencies. We use radio waves to send information through cell phones to radio. Okay, so this presentation is also about, ah, oh, perfectly safe. Look at this guy. Look how toxic this guy looks. But everybody now is just so like, this is the sky for the younger generations. They don't know the dark blue. They don't know the natural sunsets. They don't know natural clouds. This is what they know. This is the sky for them. But uh, microwaves and robotics, radars, heating, oh, no, pro oh, microwaves, they're completely safe. Well, they're not safe at all. And people who cook, you know, oh my God, in a microwave? And you think that you're actually eating something healthy? It destroys all the nutrients in the food. Okay, so no problem, ah, oh, no problem, oh, no problem, cameras, oh, x-rays, no problem, x-rays are very dangerous. Why, why does the technician put lead on us? But people who are working in the robot field, you are working around incredibly dangerous, incredibly dangerous um, frequencies. And I'm sorry. 
So, common symptoms, microwave radiation sickness, headaches, tinnitus, ringing in the ears, sleeping problems, concentration, depression, memory problems, autism spectrum disorder, neurological problems, altered brain development, heart palpitations, melatonin suppression, hormone changes, sperm and ovary damage, bleeding from the nose or ears, unexplained skin rashes, blood-brain barrier leaks, chromosome aberrations, electromagnetic sensitivity, elevated cancer in children and adults. And what is this site? It is Scientist for Wired Technology. Lots of uh, information right here on one site. So, the science. The science. Um, there is, you can click on the effects on fetal and newborn development, effects on young children, brain tumors, um, parotid gland tumors, other malignancies, effects on DNA, neurological cognitive effects, effects on male fertility. Why are we having a fertility crisis? Electromagnetic sensitivity, effects on implanted medical devices, miscellaneous articles, here are study after study after study after study after study. Okay, the link is below. Um, firefighters in California get exempt status for 5G. Well, headaches, memory loss, difficulty sleeping, anxiety, extreme fatigue. Uh, I want to read a little bit of an article, which is this article, but I also want to show you Environmental Health Trust also has a tremendous amount of information, the science around the dangers of these electromagnetic frequencies, uh, and 1G up to 5G, dangerous. So, scientific evidence, top recent studies, 5G and 4G, Wi-Fi, cancer. The National Toxicology Program, which, what was that, a $30 million study? Government, U.S. government study on the dangers of electromagnetic frequencies. And this National Toxicology Ecology, this study showed how dangerous these electromagnetic frequencies are. To have you ever heard mainstream media reporting on this? Have they done anything? You know, perhaps maybe issue new guidelines, new standards for these? For no. They have kept everything the same. Government knows what this is doing to us, giving us cancer. Um, but firefighters living next to cell towers suffer neurological damage. Here is the president of the Los Angeles County Firefighters Union, Local 1014, opposing cell towers. Now, I'm only going to read just a few bits of this, but there were hearings, um, and, well, some people were not happy about the firefighters. Well, they, they won. They were exempt. On fearlessparent.org, cell tower hypocrisy rescuing firefighters, not kids. And kids are the most vulnerable because they are developing and their brain is developing. And the younger they are, the softer is their skull, allowing these frequencies to penetrate their brains quicker, easier than adults. And these kids, now, many are sitting in front of screens, zooming their classes, 
and prior to the pandemic, what were they doing? They were sitting in classrooms with electromagnetic frequency routers right above their heads, staring at screens, their cell phones with them. I have to wonder, how is it even possible that we allowed children to carry their cell phones into the schools? What was that about? I mean, doesn't a cell phone kind of disrupt uh, the student's focus? But why? Because they want these kids always carrying their cell phones so they can trace them. Plus, the cell phones are emitting very dangerous frequencies. Pilot study confirms harm from allowable levels of radi radio uh, frequency radiation. So, once cell towers were activated on or adjacent to their fire stations, they could no longer function without severe headache, inability to sleep, foggy thinking. These are not symptoms we wish to see in our first responders. These are not symptoms anyone wants to experience. We found brain abnormalities. In all firefighters tested, they did a spec brain scan pilot study on firefighters. Um, and the symptoms of the firefighters who participated in this brain scan study, headaches, extreme fatigue, cognitive impairment, anesthesia-like sleep, where the men woke up for 911 calls as if they were drugged, inability to sleep, depression, anxiety, unexplained anger, immune suppression manifest in frequent colds and flu-like symptoms. Um, there was a brain tumor cluster in a California fire station with wireless hub next door to their station. There is a solid history of these men and women becoming ill in close proximity to cell towers. There are human and financial costs associated and the state needs to hear their story. Well, the state did and the state did exempt these firefighters. They did not put the cell towers next to the stations. So the brain scans of these six men revealed a pervasive excitability of the neurons, which suggested the exposure to pulsed data modulated radio, radio frequency electromagnetic microwave radiation it was causing the neurons to continually fire without benefit of rest. When neurons, brain cells, cannot rest, they ultimately die. If we allow a build-out of cell towers such that they are as commonplace in front of homes and schools as they now are at fire stations, we will be facing a tsunami of Alzheimer's and dementia. dementia. Alzheimer's disease rose in the United States by 55% over a 15-year period. Well, years later, it's more. Alzheimer's is wah. Now, you can't really diagnose Alzheimer's. You diagnose it post-mortem. So let's say dementia. Oh, boy, is it really skyrocketing. So the cost to society is great, but the cost to the individuals in society? <laughs> well, why do you think everybody is so friggin' insane? Filled with a, a whole lot of health problems. But I also want you to take a look at this site, Scientists for Wired Technology, the recent posts, uh, the Science Sites Bioinitiative, which I will link to because this is really uh, the work. Now, 2012, this gets updated in research summaries. 
I will link to it below. Um, and all scientists, the studies are so friggin' numerous, tens of thousands of peer-reviewed studies on the biological effects of these electromagnetic frequencies that we are all saturated in. The new results for 2020. Free radicals, um, genetic effects, neurological studies, static field neurological studies, uh, download the summaries, and Environmental Health Trust. This is their uh, home page. Policymakers, scientists, everyone. Uh, just click on the links and you will get a tremendous amount of information. Um, the pe a petition, 26,000 scientists oppose 5G rollout. And nobody's listened to. No one. Stop the 5G network on Earth and in space, devastating impacts on health and the environment. This is not, you know, crazy conspiracies or co crazy conspiracy theorists. These are scientists who have done studies to learn how magnificently dangerous are these radio frequencies. Well, international appeal, an emergency appeal to the world's governments by scientists, doctors, environmental organizations, and others. Tens of thousands have signed on. Uh, I will also link below, I'm having a lot of difficulty with this PDF because it will not move. I can't get it off this page, but this is, whoop, there it moved, okay. The, I'm scared to move it too fast because it may break down on me, but here, okay. What is this? A bibliography of reported biological phenomena, effects, <clears throat> and clinical manifestations attributed to microwave and radio frequency radiation. Who did this? It's a research report. The Navy, ah, the Naval Medical Research Institute, the National Naval, is it Naval? Yeah, Medical Center. It is loaded with over 2,300 biological effects. This study, more than 2,300 references on the biological responses to radio frequency and microwave radiation. You think our government and military do not know what this what this now this environment is doing to us? They know. That's why the FCC has never altered their standards. Not since what, 1997? Do you think we're living in a very different world today? We sure are. They have never altered their standards. We're still using these guidelines back in, I believe it's, it might be earlier, but I'm going to go with 1997. Okay. Particular attention has been paid to the effects on man of non-ionizing radiation. Non-ionizing? Non. Okay. They claim there are no effects. There's only effects with the ionizing radiation, kind of like a microwave, you know? If you jump into that microwave and turn it on, you're going to experience an awful lot of heat. 
Well, what if the frequencies don't uh, produce any kind of heat within your body? You think they're safe? That's what mainstream media is reporting to everybody from the telecommunications industry. Non-ionizing radiation, the symptoms, 2,300, more than 2,300 references, biological responses to non, oh, that non-heat radiation. So, you can take a look. This document is 25 pages. It's not that long. Table of contents, and, well, they list all of those biological effects. And the list is very long. There are a whole body of... Now, this depends on wavelength. It depends on frequency. It depends on you know, the... Um, the power of, you know, the emission of the frequency. It depends on an awful lot of things. And so these effects, which I'm sure if you read the entire thing, you'll get the, not the exact frequencies that they used, but these studies are, they're not using the most powerful frequencies, the most dangerous frequency on the electromagnetic frequency um, spectrum. They're emitting the kind of frequencies to find out what the biological effects are, those frequencies that we are now living in. That's life now, living in artificially induced electromagnetic frequency environment. So heating of organs. There are effects to the whole body, temperature regulation, defects, uh, skin, bone, bone marrow, lens of eye, um, cataracts, brain, sinuses, metal implants. They can burn near hip pins. You will get a burning sensation. Changes in the physiologic function alteration of blood vessels, uh, liver enlargement, oxidative processes, uh, alterations in tissues and organs, altered sex, uh, ratio of births, more girls. Oh my God, I just saw, didn't I, no, no, in the video that I posted, there will be more women in the world. That was the 50, uh, the 50 changes by 2050. There will be more women in the world. Huh. Altered menstrual activity. Altered fetal development. Altered penal function. Changes in conditioned reflexes. Um, it's hard for me to read this alterations in the biocurrents of the cerebral cortex. You know, none of this does anybody, would anybody just say, hey, this is what I'd like. All right, so I'm going to sit down and I'm going to turn that microwave on and I'm going to open the door and I just want those microwaves. No. But people don't want to hear it because they don't want to give up their cell phone. They don't want to give up the internet. They don't want to give up, you know, all of these gadgets. But these gadgets are killing us. Alterations in sensitivity to light and sound, all olfactory stimuli, pathological functional changes in the eyes, 
blind spots, altered color recognition, changes in intraocular pressure, trembling of eyelids, coagulation, lens op opacity, uh, altered tissue, respiration. Oh my God. Death, dehydration, central nervous system, headaches, insomnia, restlessness, uh, EEG changes, cranial nerve disorders, conditioned reflex disorders, seizures, convulsions. I'm, a, I'm just reading, I'm not reading all of them. The autonomic nervous system, neurovegetative disorders, alteration of heart rhythm, fatigue, structural alterations in the synapses of the vagus nerve. Very, very dangerous. Stimulation of parasympathetic nervous system. Bradycardia. That's, oh, you have difficulty breathing? And so many people, you know, because 5G, the absorption of oxygen, that's why that, that were... The symptoms that people were claiming was coronavirus. Do you have no idea how dangerous 4G is, 3G is? All of these emissions of electromagnetic frequencies from satellites, from Gwen Towers, from cell towers, from peripheral nervous system effects. Uh, effects on locomotor nerves, psychological disorders, general bad feeling, depression, impotence, anxiety, lack of concentration, hypochondria, dizziness, hallucinations, sleeplessness, or sleepiness, insomnia, Increased irritability, decreased appetite, loss of memory, scalp sensations, increased fatigability, chest pain, tremor of the hands, behavioral changes, reflexive, operant avoidance, discrimination behaviors, blood disorders, vascular disorders, enzyme and other biochemical changes, metabolic disorders, gastrointestinal disorders, endocrine gland changes, histological changes, genetic and chromosomal changes, miscellaneous, sparking between dental fillings, Peculiar metallic taste in mouth, changes in optical activity of collodial solutions, treatment for syphilis and skin diseases. You know, these electromagnetic frequencies could be used for good. They could be used to cure us of an awful lot of disease. Instead, they're inducing the disease. Loss of hair, brittleness of hair, sensations of buzzing, vibrations, pulsations, um, tickling about the head and ears, copious um, pers uh, perspiration, oh my God, salvation, salivation, copious salivation, protrusion of tongue, Changes in the operation of implanted cardiac pacemakers. Changes in circadian rhythms. All right, I'm going to link below. These are all of the studies. All of the studies that show the effects of these electromagnetic frequencies on our biology, life itself, and yet what they're claiming there are no effects. Don't worry. 
all of this tech, new technology. It's all safe. Don't worry. Well, it's not. So, um, FCC allocates $9 billion for rural 5G rollout. Yay, Trump. Um, forget the 5G debate. Current Wi-Fi may already be killing us. And even Scientific American admits that 5G could devastate public health. Selected studies on electrosensitivity and electromagnetic hypersensitivity. 16 pages of studies. And the studies and what they found, all of the effects. And here they are, a whole lot, page after page after page. Page after page after page. And they're peer reviewed. But what we get are just lie after lie after lie. They claim that no studies have proven any biological effects. Really? Wow. What? What are we living? What the hell are we living when you have so many? You know, it's so funny, too, because I remember meeting somebody in Maine who had multiple scler sclerosis. Um, and she was sitting in a Wi-Fi home, and I told her to look into Wi-Fi, the electromagnetic frequencies, and that that could be causing or certainly contributing to the acceleration of the MS that she was experiencing. She never did, isn't that? And she was a nurse. Wow. Code of the Brain, Cheryl Welsh, who did a brilliant job. Um, investigative journalism right here in this book, all of the electromagnetic frequencies being used for mind control. The electrochemical brain, I will link below to this site as well, which, you know, the information is still out there. Mind justice. Um, a whole lot of information electromagnetic radiation, non-lethal weapons. And they are using them. And they are so lethal that, yeah, it's really... Some of us who are sensitive to these frequencies, we don't live one day feeling good anymore. And you've got to understand that without electricity, we're dead. Electrical signals provide the most efficient method of transmitting information within the body. No living creature could survive without electricity because the body is, in essence, an electrical machine. So, when you have artificially induced electromagnetic frequencies, and you are essentially just electromagnetic being, it makes, it's just logical that those artificially induced frequencies would affect all life, because all life is, life is just electromagnetic. And we're now, you know, we, we used to resonate with the Earth's frequency. Well, that's been shot to hell. Because man has taken over all of the natural frequencies. All one needs to do is a little bit of research to find out 
You know, now we're talking about cell towers and cell phones and Gwen Towers, and uh, I spoke about the satellites up there emitting dangerous frequencies. Harp, uh, the Russian woodpecker, Russia's uh, equivalent to harp, elate. And then China using these frequencies. And there are so many countries using electromagnetic frequencies. And we're talking a power that is way different than what's being transmitted by that cell phone or the cell tower. But we also have radar emitting very dangerous frequencies, which I have shown over and over again for 10 years. And we also have extremely low frequencies being emitted, which I have shown on these radar and satellite sites. So we are being blasted with dangerous frequencies. You can read about the Gwen Towers, extremely low frequencies, and HARP. We are trapped in an artificially induced electromagnetic frequency world. Natural geomagnetic waves are being replaced by artificially created low frequency ground waves coming from Gwen Towers. Now, the Gwen system was supposed to be that ground wave emergency network for that those first responders. It was decommissioned in the 70s, and yet they continued to erect these Gwen Towers all over the world, all over the country. And our interstates, every interstate, is now littered with Gwen Towers. Why? If they decommissioned the emergency network in the 70s. Because they're using these Gwen Towers, which you can read a description of them, for controlling the weather, mind control, behavior and mood control, and even sending synthetic telepathy as infrasound to victims with U.S. government mind control implants. Gwen works in conjunction with Harp and the Russian woodpecker. Elate, which can fine-tune weather patterns over a 200-mile area. Well, this was written years and years and years ago. What do they have today? All right. Um, a study. Here. What is this? Low-frequency biological effects on human body cells. The DNA may be irreparably damaged due to low frequency. Cells with damaged DNA that survive and reproduce can lead to cancer. And failure to correct damage in cells that form reproductive cells can result in mutations being passed on to offspring. When cells are exposed to ionizing radiation, damage can occur either by Direct action or indirect action? Yes. Electromagnetic frequencies artificially induced are known to damage DNA. So um, th this I also think is very interesting. This was back in 1972. 1972. It's actually below. Um, I'll link to it. You can check it out. I always feel like I have to prove every freaking thing I say. Navy is testing microwave risks. Huh. In 1972, the Navy is exposing 50 volunteers to potentially harmful microwaves to find out what these mysterious rays do to the human body. Well, they knew decades before 1972. An increasing number of Americans are bombarded daily by microwaves from ovens TV transmitters, and other electronic equipment. Bombarded back in 1972. What are we living now? What are we living now? 
Every city is crisscrossed with these microwave beams. All right, I will link below to everything. I am so sorry for anyone who has to suffer these effects. Because you wanna talk turning life into just survival. They're doing that to an awful lot of people. So I hope you see this video and many of the sites that I just went through have a tremendous amount of studies. Find these studies. I feel like I'm dying. I'm, I, for years, just doing my best You know, just hanging on, knowing that an awful lot of you are hanging on, gives me the strength, you know, to hang on, to keep going. It's killing life, but it's also, you know, just evaporating joy and while well, these frequencies are also doing a tremendous amount of destruction. Um, people, you know, I was focusing on the biological effects. What they can do to people's brains, the mind control, These frequencies are very, very dangerous. We're living the dangers. We're feeling it. We're experiencing it. If you got this far in the video, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? Just thought that I would come over and check out what's happening. Look at that. Look at all of these frequencies belting away. Iowa. And North and South Carolina. Extremely low frequencies and radar and all the plasma production. We should not be seeing any of this. Extremely low frequencies, extremely dangerous. So is the radar that blasts away? So on the microwaves, and then all of the gadgets that everybody is using via Wi-Fi. It's a wonder that we still have any life going on here. Ciao, guys.